Meg's unbelievable reaction as her father is rushed to hospital fears of possible stroke. Meghan Markle has been urged to make the two-hour drive to visit her sick father's bedside by a royal commentator. Thomas Markle is currently believed to be in a hospital in California after suffering a stroke. Tom Bauer, a journalist who is currently working on a biography of the Duchess said that Meghan has not made contact with her father but that since she has claimed to be a compassionate person, she should go and visit him. He said, Meghan has always said that she's a very compassionate person. And if compassion was at all necessary right now, it would mean she would go to her father's bedside, about two and a half hours drive south of where she lives, and give him some comfort and reassurance. We wait to see what happens. Meghan Markle's sister has told GB News presenter Dan Wooten that she is thankful to God after her father Thomas survived a stroke which could have been fatal. A visibly distraught and upset Samantha Markle almost broke down in tears when talking to the Kiwi-born presenter, but said it could take a year for her father to get his speech back. Mr. Wooten, who is a friend of Mr. Markle, recently interviewed him on GB News where he confirmed his intention to attend the Platinum Jubilee. Britons have backed the Queen's decision to relegate Meghan Markle and Prince Andrew from the balcony appearance during the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. New research carried out by survey platform One Pulse showed that, out of a sample of 800 people, 80% said that it was the right decision for Prince Andrew and Meghan to be banned from the balcony appearance. Just one out of five respondents thought the palace had made a mistake in relegating non-working royals from the opening celebrations of the Jubilee. The Queen has been warned that Prince Harry and Meghan could overshadow the festivities at her Platinum Jubilee sparking resentment amongst other royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed they will return to the UK to celebrate the Queen's reign with their children Archie, three, and Lilibet, who turns one over the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Camilla Tomini of the Daily Telegraph said Palace aides will do all they can to prevent a Sussex sideshow overshadowing the monarch. She warned, you can include the Sussexes but you don't want there to be some sort of Harry and Meghan side show going on when the main event must be the Queen. Thomas Markle had planned to take TV cameras to Windsor Castle to issue his daughter Meghan Markle with an ultimatum during his UK trip before his health scare, a friend has revealed. Thomas Markle had planned to issue his daughter Meghan Markle with an ultimatum during his UK trip. The father of the Duchess of Sussex will now be unable to make it over to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in the coming days after he suffered a terrifying health scare. Mr Markle was rushed to hospital in an ambulance with an oxygen mark strapped to his face after he had a suspected stroke. His other children are by his bedside, but he is also keen to see his daughter Meghan, who he hasn't seen for a number of years. Royal biographer Tom Bauer who is in contact with Mr. Markle, appeared on ITV's Good Morning Britain today to give hosts Susanna Reid and Richard Madeley an update on Mr. Markle's health. Asked what his view of the current state of their relationship is, he said, Well I'm in touch with him for my book for some time and he's very upset and he's very unhappy. He was a very loving father to Meghan and supported her throughout her childhood when her mother wasn't there and paid for her student fees too and he was very upset he hasn't been able to see his grandchildren. So I do think to an extent, he was coming to London to see the Queen, he was also hoping to see Meghan and see his grandchildren. Richard then asked how Thomas had planned on seeing them, because he would just be one face in the crowd. Mr. Markle had been planning on travelling to the UK in the next few days for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations for the Queen's 